so I'm gonna open it and look at it for the first time. I need to just cut it. The thing that holds the diploma after. It has the University of Maryland school seal on it. Wow. It says University of Maryland, Baltimore. And look at that, it says my degree name on it and everything. By virtue of authority granted by a charter of the state of Maryland to the Board of Regents of the University System of Maryland hereby confers upon Montana Latrice Ryland in degree of Master of Science, Medical Cannabis Science and Therapeutics. With all the honors, rights and privileges signed by the authorized officers of the university and sealed with the seal of the University of Maryland. Damn man. I officially graduated. I want to get this made into like a little card I can keep in my wallet. Like, wow, that's incredible. Awesome. A real life graduate. I have a master of science degree. Can y'all believe it? Because I don't believe it. It still feels like. Like, I know I graduated, but it's like, okay, did you? Yeah, I did. Like, this was really a journey. This was a real life journey to get here. Just to even get on this path, it's been a journey. Like, I'm sure that a lot of people are probably so confused of, like, where I am in life now. But, like, when you feel like you find your purpose, like there are just, I don't know, like I, I feel like your purpose is always lurking around you. You can choose to accept it or not. Proud of myself. Really proud of myself. I'm excited to see where this journey takes me. Just adjusting to life post-grad because like this is what I've been doing. School has been what I've been doing for life. So just adjusting to that. Um, so figuring out real life stuff, life is good. Um, I'm in just such a a season of like clarity, making sure that I understand what's what, um, just things to get my spiritual self together like there is i feel like there's a lot of spiritual war, just warfare going on like ultimately i'm just like just reading and just trying to stay on the right path like hold on let me show you something so i was recommended to read this book it's called the bait of satan it is living free from the deadly trap of offense it shows you how to live a life where you're able to Put aside getting offended. The way that the enemy gets you is it severs your relationships with people, it severs your ability to focus on your opportunities because you are always looking for an offense in something. When you start to live your life from a place of forgiveness and just putting things in God's hands and just letting it be what it is and not looking for offense in people like it you just your life just is so much lighter and that's what i'm trying to be i think that i um have learned what my triggers are like there are some things that you are just going to be offended by like that thing is just like some things just trigger you and it, it always goes back to childhood stuff like there's always a reason why that thing offends you like i know what some of my triggers are and i'm working on those things but i want to live my life from a place of like already just knowing like especially if it's with the like the closest people to you the people that are closest to you they can do the thing that ticks you off the most you be so upset with them like so triggered by it like so ready to lash out but it's like you know that they are not trying to offend you you know they don't mean anything by it it's hard to move from that space where you realize they're not trying to hurt you they didn't mean any offense and just 
understanding that like yes they also have flaws that they have to work on as well and so when you aren't even looking for them to be offending you because you know they don't mean to offend you you're not looking for an offense in a person like if you don't stack up your offenses when you forgive and you're not stacking on like they did this and then they did that and they piled and piled and it piles up until it hits the ceiling and now you're at capacity with them and now there's a, a you say a bunch of stuff because you did that and you did that and you like it's just, just forgive and speak up right then and say what's on your mind and move on and that's how you preserve relationships and that's how you live from a space of not being offended i guess that's supposed to be like what the premise of the book is but i'm eager to actually read it that same topic all the time like i work on that all the time like i'm so self-aware like I'm very self-aware and a lot of people ask me like do I go to therapy and I really don't I really have never been to therapy I probably should try it but like I'm so self-aware like I'm just I don't really know what could they really tell me because I know like therapists like they're not really there to so much give you advice and listen to you talk and like help you reach a conclusion by asking you like, certain questions but I feel like all the questions that they're going to ask me, I already know. Like, I've already thought of that. Like, I, when I tell you this is like, this is a gift. And it, I, it's, it's really sickening that I don't have the commitment in me right now to go to um, graduate school to get my doctorate in um, psychology. Because that is really what I want to do. Because like I'm I'm gifted at this. Like I I've thought this thing through, but I just I don't know. Like I feel like there will be no merit to me going to right now. Right now. Definitely like, you know, down the line. I do think I do see the value in getting a therapist, but I feel like right now like I'm very self aware and it's like everything that they're gonna that they would say, I've already thought that. Like the very question that you're like, I think everything so deeply. Like I'm an overthinker. Like I think about everything very deeply. Like every question that you're gonna ask, I've already thought. I've already asked it. I've already thought about it. You could you could present to me another perspective, and I would be like, yeah, I I could see it that way. Like I think there may be something like that that um, I could gain from therapy. Like I just read the back of it and just got all of that from it. I have not read the book. But basically the back says, The bait of Satan exposes one of the most deceptive snares Satan uses to get believers out of the will of God. Offense. This trap restrains countless Christians, severs relationships, and widens the goals between us. Jesus said it is impossible that no offenses should come. That's Luke 17 and 1. Although you will counter offense, you can choose how you will react. Basically, it's inevitable. Somebody is going to offend you. It says, don't let anyone affect your relationship with God. And that is true. You're supposed to be living for God. And God says, let all things you do be done in love. You're supposed to be forgiving. You're supposed to give all things to him. And if you are out here looking for offense, holding on to hurts you're out here resenting people piling on the reasons why you're upset with someone you're you're not submitting to your relationship with god you're not um, you're not doing his will i'm getting my life together y'all since then i have found christ there has been such a change in my life like 85 degrees right now i'm about to go to the store go to trader joe's get something to eat and then i have a, la a nail appointment at 3 30. going to do that i also want to get like some salmon or something for dinner because um, i am trying to stop eating meat who is too hot hold on hold on hold on i can't even play around with this camera right now hold on Roll this window down and blast this air because 
Actually, let me not blast it so I can see so y'all can hear me real quick. But, um, oh yeah, my outfit is real cute today. Um, so I just went red and green with it. Y'all, I'm just feeling real good today. Um, it's been a very weird season, but all is well right now. And I just feel good. When you look good, you feel good. The girls are out. Um, I have my shroom skirt on. I did shrooms the other day. So I'm just feeling like very much on theme with myself. Like, but yeah, I need to hurry up because it's already two o'clock. My appointment is at 3.30 and I wanna be able to browse in Trader Joe's. I wanna not have to be worrying about how much time I'm taking. So I'm about to hurry up and get on the road. And yeah. That's it. Oh no. All right, y'all. I just pulled up to Trader Joe's. I also just got gas. Of course, there was somebody trying to holler at the gas station, but never are you gonna holler at me from inside your car. Like, come on now. So I'm about to head into Trader Joe's now, and um, I'll let y'all see what I get. First stop is of course the flower section. They have peonies. These are my favorite flowers. I'm gonna get some of these, of course. I'm back from Trader Joe's and I have to hurry up because it's already 3 20 and my mail appointment is at 3 30. So I'm gonna show y'all about that. that some carrots, some nectarines, some um, mini sweet peppers, arugula, baby spinach. Um, I love these Trader Joe's rices. They have the style rice with the tofu in it. Um, I love these cilantro wontons, some jasmine rice, some broccoli, some mushrooms. Some salmon, some chicken dumplings, um, some half and half tea, some lemonade, some chicken broth, some mango cream bars, and some mochi bars, and all of this. Oh, shit. And these are the flowers that I got. So I got some peonies, I got some Veronica, these are called um, Craspedia and then some baby's breath and I'm gonna have to put those together when I get back because I'm not ready. But okay, let me hurry up and put this shit in the freezer. All of that was hundred dollars. Okay, off to get my nails done. Wake you up to sunrise on the backs of your thighs. Even though you tell me you love me, I'm afraid that you just love my disguise. Baby, baby, 
what is up y'all so i am just about to run to the store because today is june 17th and tomorrow is father's day so i have to figure out something that i'm going to get my dad for father's day um obviously a card i think i'm probably going to make him some dinner tomorrow my dad really likes when i make spaghetti so i might make him some spaghetti for dinner i really don't know what he wants Yeah, I just saw the most romantic thing. I came to park my car and this man was walking up towards my car and he had flowers behind his back because he was walking up to his car when his uh, his girlfriend was in the car or whatever, his wife, whatever. And he gave her the flowers. He gave his wife some flowers. How romantic. But watching him walk up with them behind his back so he could surprise her was super sweet. Like, I just love love. Look, I saw this card that was, had something to do with ice cream. And my dad really likes ice cream, so got him a gift card to cold stone and i'm gonna film some dinner and some breakfast tomorrow what is up y'all so right now i'm outside just taking pictures i'm about to be on the way to pasadena actually have on a lot of stuff that people have bought me like well I bought this hat because I wanted to support my friend's brand shout out to bangs Shondell gave me this shirt for my birthday Shondell bought me these shoes for my birthday because Shia bought me this for graduation I just want to try to see my fit Ooh. hurry up before he gets in the car not gonna do too much today um just going to LA real quick eat some food it's just a solo day today. I didn't, um, yeah, anyways, um, it's a solo day today. I'm just chilling, just gonna hang out with myself. I just have had just a lot going on, and I need to just spend a little bit of time with myself, so. You know what, that is one of the things that I do wish for this summer, is that I get to spend more time with friends, actually spending time together, um, because I need that today going to spend time by myself and that's okay you need that as well you need that good balance 